What up, YouTube? It's Alex, and I'm back at it again for another episode. So, it's been a long weekend for me. And what have I been doing for that long weekend? Let's see. Um, watching Walking Dead, of course. So, as I promised, every Monday will be Walking Dead Monday. And th this Monday somewhat starts... Walking Dead Monday, kind of, since, like, Walking Dead doesn't come back for, an, I think, another two, three weeks. All I know is that it comes back on the 22nd. Who cares about, I like, kind of how many weeks that is. But, so, yeah. And so, I, I got really, really bored, and so I was, like, and I had a lot of free time, and, and, and I'm sorry, I didn't make a video. I know I said that at all free time would be video time, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch Walking Dead again. I'm going to rewatch all 99 episodes of Walking Dead. And that is exactly what I did. Was sat down, I lied, laid down, and watched Walking Dead, all 99 episodes, all seven seasons of it. And... Yeah, it, it was pretty exciting, just to just to relive all the excitement of it, and to watch characters grow and everything. So, since I said that every Monday will be Walking Dead Monday, this will be first Walking Dead Monday that we have. So, what are we actually gonna do on Walking Dead Mondays? Let's be honest here, we're gonna. We're going to review the the episode. If you haven't watched that episode, you have to hit that pause button. Don't watch this video then and go watch that video. Um, go watch that episode and then come back and watch this up on um, this video because we will be talking about things straight from that episode. And so, what are we going to do for the first video here since Walking Dead's not even back yet? I don't know, I, th I thought we could recap, do a little recap of all seven seasons, all 99 episodes of Walking Dead. So that's exactly what I thought we could do. So, where do we start? Uh, I don't know. Because, well, how, how about we start at the very beginning? Episode 1. Season one. That that episode was pretty interesting. If if you guys can't remember what that one was, it was the one where Rick actually wake, ends up waking up. At, I lied. Rick ends up getting shot, then ends up waking up, finding out a zombie apocalypse happened while he was in a coma. He then he meets Morgan, and he meets Morgan's son Dwight, and. Then he starts out on his journey of trying to find his son and his wife that he he thinks is not dead. And the only reason why is because of those dang photos that his wife ended up taking. I do like it, though. You never actually see those photos. The, he says that they have to be still alive because of the dang photos. You never see those photos. That supposedly is the reason why he believes that they're actually still alive. But and also that's the and then it ends with him in the tank and Glenn sitting there, tell um asking him how is it hanging in there, and that is actually the first time you ever meet Glenn. Glenn. Glenn was an awesome character. I loved Glenn. He was awesome because he was that character that when things started going bad, you turned to him and he was like, okay, this is how we're going to get stuff done. And was always upbeat. I loved that about Glenn. He was amazing. And then, yeah, so then season one was kind of boring. Nothing really happened. The only thing that actually legit happened was um Daryl's brother gets his hand chopped off because he chops it off himself um let's see oh Andrea's sister dies but 
if if you guys read the comics, you already knew half the things that are actually have come in the show. You already knew half of those things were actually coming. But yeah. So then see, season one was kind of a low key season. It was a, it was a tester. That, that's actually legit what it was. It was a testing season of let's see how many people we can draw in with this with these type of things and they must have gotten a good review on it because they've come back for seven more seasons so i lied now eight more seasons but so yeah season one though was i think six episodes of basically nothing exciting really happening like the the story plot was mostly just rick trying to find his family and then Rick trying to protect his family from everything that happened while he was gone. And I think, oh, and then just kind of let it up of, um, in the one episode of when Shane tries to shoot Rick, kind of shows the little bit of tension between them. Well, that Shane has now created because Shane was kind of hooking up with Laurie. So, yeah. Um... Then we go on to season two. Season two is very interesting. Well, well, hold on. Let me go back to season one. Just, just how crazy that ending actually was. That ending of season one was actually pretty crazy because, um, if you actually read the comics, that actually does not happen. And I don't honestly know where that idea actually came from, but I did like it though. Because in the comics, they never give you any insight of, like, hey, this is my this might be of how it actually ha- um, started and stuff like that. And the show actually sat there and was like, okay, this is actually how it might have started. But um, Rick ends up not telling anyone until, I think, the ending of season two. Yes, it was. Uh, I think it was, end of, it was either the end of season two or end of season um, three. Because I can't, I, for the life of me, I cannot remember. I always, that's why I always have to go back and rewatch these seasons is because I am always getting them mixed up of how things actually ended. Because I can never remember if season two ends with the farm going down or if that's ending of season three. I think it actually might be the ending of season two. If not comment that down below and actually correct me because i'm just gonna keep going on a rant about that of how it actually how i believe that it's season two and it clearly could not be it could be season three for all i know maria i know that you're gonna actually probably comment about this so comment about it please because i i can't remember to save my life but so yeah then then sophia and then the thing, then things keep going on. Then we go to Herschel's farm. I did like, I do like who they end up having playing Herschel. Herschel was an amazing character. I did like, I did like the actor. He was pretty amazing. I, he, he did his job perfectly of who Herschel actually is. I love that idea. And then you meet, then you meet Maggie Glenn's little love interest in the comics and in the show. And then... Then you also see... That Lori is pregnant. That's when you find out, is in season two, that you find out that she is pregnant. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it might actually be season three. Because I'm so sorry about this. I think it might be season three that the, the farm goes down. Because I think season two kind of ends kind of weirdly and you don't honestly know that it's actually the ending of season two because nothing big actually happens in it like like the ending of season three i'm pretty sure it's season three now like they all have like something going on that you know oh man this is the ending of the season um so i think it might be actually the ending of season three was the farm going down because i'm pretty sure and that season two ending was with my man Dale dying. I loved Dale. Oh my god, he was amazing. He was the best character there. 
He was just, he was just that random person who was just there. And I loved that about him. He was awesome. Oh, man. When, then when, when Carl sat there and was throwing stones at that zombie and didn't decide to kill it, and then you find out that it is that zombie that kills Dale, oh, I was so mad about that. But and and then I started reading the comics. Like I think at the end of season seven, I ended up it was like, okay, you know what? I need to know what happened. It was gonna happen, and so I started from the very first comic, and I saw how much there is difference wise between it all. And I was like, are you serious? This all these things are different. Like Dale doesn't ever die. I hated that. Dale doesn't die. Um. But I also hated it in the comics that Daryl is not actually a character. Daryl and Merle are both not characters in the show. Um, in the comics, but eh, I, I, I love Daryl. He's awesome because he is just that man that is just like okay. He, he in his own sense is a badass. I love that about him. He is awesome. Um, but he's also very sensitive. I love that. But I do like it how in the show that it, it is season one that you actually meet Dar um, Daryl. Um, and it's not actually until episode two that you meet Dale. Um, Daryl. Um, I think, it, yes. No, I lied. It's not until episode three that you meet Daryl. It's not until episode three that you meet anyone from the group, really. Because you meet Andrea and T-Dog. And they go on to later seasons, past season one. And you meet Merle, but Merle doesn't show up again until, I think, season four. And so, who honestly cares about him? He doesn't show up until season four. And then you meet Glenn, too, but Glenn is already awesome. Anyways, you meet Glenn in episode one. But so, yeah. Where are we? I think we're on season three now? Yeah. So... Season 3 was pretty good. I did like the ending of Season 3. That was a pretty good ending, all in all. It was pretty good of having Herschel's farm go down at the end of Season 3. Perfect. Loved that ending. I know a lot of people died, but it was still good. I liked it. And then, I think, you know, Season 2, Otis dies. And, by the way, if, if you haven't actually watched it, if you're planning on watching the show, or anything like that, stop stop the video right now, because I have already ruined some of it, because um, I've already told you who's going to die, um, so stop the video, go watch the show, and then come back, and continue on with this, I should have said this earlier, so sorry, but so yeah, um, back to this, if you are still watching, um, then... Season 3 ends with the farm going down. Uh, uh, I think it's Beth's boyfriend there dies. Dies in the RV. Oh, that was depressing. I, I love that RV. Like The idea of that RV was awesome. Loved it. That it was like a major mode of transportation, even though it broke down every few miles. Still awesome. Loved it, because you could have a few people in there. Um, I did like that aspect, that you could have a lot of people in there. Transporting a lot of people. Um, yeah. I did not like, though, that they waited until the farm to kill Shane off. Because I feel like, like after season two ended and season three started, and they started kind of just, like, not knowing what to do with his character because... He should have already been dead in the com in the comics. He dies, I think, in the first vol um, in the first comic. He dies, and so when they sat there and they wrote him on for two more seasons, and he was actually supposed to live, I think they were kind of like, "What do we honestly do?" And I think I feel like the ending of season two was actually supposed to be Shane's death, but they wanted it to to be of a more uh, like a a death that you actually remember. And so, they tried to figure out, like, who to kill off. But I also heard rumors of why they actually chose Dale to um, get killed off in uh, season two finale. 
was because um, the actor himself didn't like that um, they had a new writer for the co- um, for the show. And so he kind of was like, nope, I'm done. And so they had to kill him off, so... Eh. Eh. You gotta deal with your actors of deaths and everything. So, yeah. But I also do like it how I heard that. Apparently, when it's your death episode, you actually get a dinner. Yeah. You sit there and, um... The whole cast... Um, everyone, um, all the main characters, all sit together, and they sit there and they have what they call the Last Supper for the, um, for your character. I find it so bizarre that they actually call it the Last Supper, but I I honestly don't care. But it's just, it's just so bizarre. But, so, yeah, um, I, I, I keep finding about, out just random things about this show. Of just, like, when they're filming and everything, like, what actually goes, like, behind the scene kinds of things. Like, when they have meals there, the people who play the zombies, like, sit over here. The people who play the actual, like, characters, like, Rick, Shane, um, well, Rick, Glenn, and everyone like that, they sit over there on, the, on opposite sides. And so, zombies, humans. Zombies, humans. And they do not interact at all. I find that so bizarre. And I also heard that to be a zombie, you have to go to school. You gotta go to zombie school. That's... Why? That's bizarre as heck. But yeah. So, so back to recapping the, the seasons. We are on season four now, I think, right? Yeah. Um, well, season three also ended with a little bit of a cliffhanger. Of everyone meets up back at the... Um, the road where Sophia is supposed to um, was supposed to meet them back up. I, I did not like though in the show that they actually did kill um, that they killed Sophia off because in the comics, if you read the comics, you know that she actually does end up living. She lives past where she dies in the show. Um, she I, she actually lives to be kind of like Enith in the show. Um, like, Enith was kind of, like, their backup for, um, for Sophia. And so, um, like, Enith is Sophia compared to the show. Um, well, compared to the comics. But so, um, they, that's how it ends, is with them there. And then them trying to find a place to stay for the night. And they end up staying on the, um, on the side of the road. And then you see in the background the prison and then that is how season four begins is with them finding the prison is i think it's daryl and rick going out to forage for food or something like that and they find it it's pretty amazing i did like that um i did like how it um they do end up finding it it's pretty amazing loved it I lied. I lied. It, it doesn't start off with that. It starts off with them, like, randomly moving around. And, like, I think I think you sit there and you kind of figure that I think five months have passed between the season finale and the season premiere because of just how pregnant um, Lori has actually gotten. Unless she's really pregnant. And so... You kind of figure that out. And then... Well, then they finally find the prison. And everyone who read the comics was kind of like... When they saw that, they're like, yes! They finally found the prison. The prison was the place. And then everyone who read the comics also knew... What that meant, too. That meant the governor. That they were going to find the governor, or the governor was going to find them. And... That ends up happening. Is the governor ends up finding them? I'm pretty sure it was the governor who found them. Yes, it was because of um, Tyrese. In the in the show, it was because of Tyrese. Um, Tyrese ends up going back and trying to live at Woodbury, and kind of tells him, "Hey, there's a there's a place, 
um, just a little ways down the road and stuff like that. And so they're like, oh, well, let's go check it out. And so they do. Um, and then I'm pretty sure they end up living at the prison for two seasons. And then season five is where they, where it just destroys. Um, and then I did like it how, though, you see at the very ending of um, when you see Andrea running for her life. At, I think it's the end of season two, three. Um, you see her running for her life, and then you see a hooded figure. I found out that the reason why they had a, um, Michonne actually as a hooded figure in that episode was because they, they had not figured out who to actually play Michonne at the time. And so they had just apparently like a random extra that was on the show, and it was like, hey, come here, and put this hood on. And that's how they created Michonne in the show, and that's how they introduced her was with a random extra, and it wasn't until, and so then when they came back with a new season, they kind of had some time to be like, okay, who, who are we going to have to play as Michonne, and so, yeah, and so then, um, then you meet Michonne, um, you, like, fully meet Michonne in season four, um, and you're kind of like, oh, cool, this, this character is going to be pretty cool, because this person has a samurai sword, and that's pretty sick. Um, and is just in there going, like, every which way with a sword and just chopping heads off of zombies. Loved it. Loved that idea of just almost as cool as Daryl, okay? Daryl has a crossbow, but was never in the, was never in the comics, so you never know his fate. I, I, I hate that, that you don't ever know his fate. But yet, do you actually honestly know anyone's fate, really, in the, in the show? Because they always are either keeping them on for longer or keeping them on for a really short time. So, yeah, and then season three, four, they meet, they find the prison, they clean it all out and all that. And then Lori dies, too. I, I didn't like it, though. Uh, I didn't really like the actress that they actually chose for Lori. I would have chosen someone else, because... If you compare um, what, how Lori is supposed to look like from the comics to the actress, she looked nothing alike, and I don't, I didn't really like the actress. She, she was just bizarre, um, and so when she died, I was kind of happy because I, I didn't really like her. I, I like the character, but I don't like the actress who played the character. But so yeah, then, and then season four is just them. Um, just basically chilling, chilling at the prison, and then season five is even more chilling at the prison. I, th I lied. Season four ends with Woodbury going down, and so they're kind of like, "Ooh, snap! Woodbury's going down." And then season five open on opens up. With